My name is Katie Keogh. I'm a senior on the acrobatics and tumbling team this year. I'm originally from Red Bank, New Jersey. Well, originally, I had normal appendicitis, just like any other person would. Um, and then everything went well with that surgery. And two weeks later was my follow-up appointment, December 31st. I had a flight back to Oregon the next day um, to start winter term. And they basically told me when they sent all of my results from my surgery that they had found a carcinoid tumor, which is also known as a neuroendocrine tumor. Going into freshman year, I didn't compete at all until someone got hurt and I literally competed in one team event with one pass. Kind of going into sophomore year, I thought I would kind of step into this role and be in a lot of positions, um, and I wasn't, and that was a really hard pill to swallow. Um, and I think remembering what had happened was really hard for me. So I kind of took a step back and I was like, I don't know if I can do this. That was a huge adjustment. Katie and I have never been apart for probably longer than a week in our entire lives. So it was like a lot to take in because not only is she going through something so hard, now I can't be there to like support her and be that shoulder for her. I was super lucky that I had really good trainers and good doctors um, specific to Oregon Athletics, which really allowed me to gain my strength back. It was really hard because there was no script to actually follow, so it was kind of working at my own pace and telling them what I thought I was capable of and kind of bouncing off that. Everyone talks about it, but your mind actually remembers everything you know how to do. Um, so I kind of took that and ran with it and was able to at least get some of the basics back that I didn't think I would potentially be able to do. As a senior, um, I kind of want to lead by example. That's kind of always been my thing. I'm not the most vocal in practice, but I hope that outside of practice I'm a leader that they can kind of lean on and that my story and my experiences can kind of um, empower the people coming in, learning a new sport, and being able to be that leader and be that person that might not be the most vocal in practice, but can kind of help them outside and work on things that is not always talked about within like the actual physical part of being an athlete. I was really, really grateful because before Acro, I never had a team really. Gymnastics is a really individualized sport. So coming here and having 45 people that I pretty much just met, like two months ago, be able to like listen to me, be there for me, and just like be those people that I needed in such a hard time was such a great experience that I wouldn't trade for the world. And that's kind of why I'm wearing this shirt with the zebra print. Um, it kind of stands for one in a million, and sometimes you have to look for the zebra in rare cases, and that's what the zebra stripe um, represents. Her story is really incredible, and it inspires me. Like what excuses do I have? Like, I need to get there, work just as hard as her, and yeah, just seeing her on the mat and like sharing all those memories, like, it's really an amazing experience. You have one chance and you never know what's gonna happen to you, but kind of use that um, and like keep going. You can't predict what's gonna happen tomorrow, but um, this month kind of reminds me that, you know, I had that 1% happen to me, but I can overcome that and look where I am now. Being able to spread my story to kind of make awareness of what carcinoid cancer actually is because not many people know and Women in Flight really empowers us to use our voice and to show how strong women are and I think Women in Flight to me has kind of allowed me to be able to share my story or be able to meet people that have gone through similar things or meet strong women that I would have never gotten to meet and I'm super grateful to be a part of um, the program and what it's offered to the school and all the teams here. So when she finally came on that mat freshman year, like that was the best feeling in the world. Like I looked her in the corner and I was like, that girl is a beast. If you told me three years ago I'd be sitting here sharing my story, I wouldn't really believe you. Just knowing that there's going to be bumps in the road and that's okay and to kind of, you know, I can't change the outcome or change what's happening, but I can change tomorrow and I can continue to grow as an athlete and a person with whatever comes in my way.